Hey everybody, thanks so much for joining me. <clears throat> Excuse me, a little horse this morning. Stamping to create here. I thought I would do a quick video um, in case you have uh, any questions on once you purchase a embroidery design as to what do you do next. So this is a uh, design that I just uh, purchased. Let me close this out. Um, from Etsy. And I purchased designs from a few different places. And um, I just, I saw someone that did a, um, a towel using this uh, embossed machine embroidery monogram alphabet. And this is great for those of you that only have the four by four size. I believe they have it available in other sizes too. This is by River Mill Embroidery. And I just purchased this on Friday. Um, it was $3.95, so I used PayPal through um, Etsy to pay for um, my purchases. So, <clears throat> excuse me, you can see, <coughs> oh, I apologize, um, little horse this morning. It's early this morning. What time is it? 6.44 a.m. on a Sunday. Huh, go figure. I purchased this other design here. This is Baby Embroidery Shop, and I have purchased from them before. And uh, this is a collar bib. And um, I haven't tried that one yet, nor have I tried the towel, but I plan on doing the towel. So if you're brand new here and you wanna make sure you don't miss out on my machine embroidery for this towel, and probably this bib, I'm gonna give that a try as well. Now I have done this paw print treat holder. There is a video for that. And the one good thing about Etsy is once you make a purchase, not that I'm pushing Etsy by any means, but once you make a purchase, it stays in your um, online account, okay? So you don't have to worry, um, you know, if for some reason you lost your file, although I do recommend backing up your files onto a um, external hard drive. But if you if you don't do that, or maybe you don't remember, did you order it from there? You can go up here to search your purchases up right in here, search your purchases. So that's a good thing. So, um, okay, so I bought the design and now what do I do? Because I want to get this to my machine. Now, some machines have Wi-Fi capability where you can just like send this via Wi-Fi right over to your machine. Um, I don't think mine does. I'm thinking no, but I like to put them on a... Um, Majority of them, you have to use a uh, thumb drive. So isn't this one cute? This one I got through Amazon. And I know I really should have an affiliate link for how many times I send you guys there to get this. But I thought it was really cute. And I got a couple of these um, that are kind of like different because I, that's how I distinguish what they are. You could very easily mark on the other ones. But um, you just pull this out here and there's your little thumb drive. And it has a little... Um, hanger on here and I like to use those command hooks. I have them on my wall here and that's where I have my uh, thumb drives are kept on there. And I do write on permanent marker on some of them. I have to get myself better organized as far as thumb drives. So if anybody um, has any hints on that, I'd appreciate it. So, okay, so we're gonna take this, I'm gonna stick this into the side of the machine. Now I have a, um, um, get that in there, okay. So what kind of is this? This is a Vita. This is an Avita um, laptop. I purchased it through HSN um, back in January. And I kind of mostly use it for my um, embroidery files, but a few other things too. And I keep it right up here in my craft room next to my embroidery machine. So when you put the thumb drive in, all this is gonna come up. And these are all the files I have on that thumb drive. It's a rather large thumb drive. Um, and it, I, sometimes I go through and I eventually, you know, once I'm done with a lot of these designs, um, I will go in and, um, delete them or move them off of this thumb drive because it only holds so much. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to minimize it. So that's what that did that this brought up the drive right down here. You can see us disc, and this is the D drive. So I'm going to minimize that. So over here it says download files. So we're going to click on that. And here it comes up with information from from um, River Mill Embroider. And I have to tell you, I made this purchase and they already sent me a discount code. 
for my next purchase, which was really nice. Uh, some of the uh, Etsy shops do that. So um, that's really nice. So um, here's the design here. And I'm gonna click on this, download. Okay, and then what's gonna happen, it's going to come up with this, save as. So this is where you can choose where you wanna save it. Now what I do is I save it on my desktop because that's the easiest, it's on this PC desktop. It's the easiest place to go for me to find my files because I'm, I'm not that very computer literate, okay? So let me just tell you that, that much. But this is how I do it. You may do it differently, others do it differently. This is how I do it. You can see on here some of the other designs. Here's the Christmas lights, the one that I, uh, the video I did the other day from Creative Fabrica. And so I'm just gonna save it file name and you can change that, but it says embossed alpha four by four. That's good for me, but you can change that file name if you want to. And I'm gonna click on save and you'll notice this little um, window down here opens up. So here it is going and it's moving it, opening it, well, moving it to there. So then what I wanna do is I'm gonna double click this and um, you'll see here it is embossed alphabet. So what you wanna do next is you wanna click on this extract all, okay? This is very important because a lot of times people think, oh, this is the file folder. I'm gonna just move this to the thumb drive where you have to extract it because it's in a zip file double click that. Now here's where you can select the designation and extract files. So again, mine's going to go to desktop, embossed, alphabet, and you can go with browse and you can choose somewhere else if you want. Um, but um, that this works for me. So I'm going to click on extract and this is going to show extracted files when complete, which is you want to make sure you click on that because you want to see them. So extract, and it's going to copy them. So this file includes all of the alphabet, the whole entire alphabet. Oh, gosh. Hmm. Maybe I should have stayed in bed longer, but my dog got me up this morning. Okay, so then it's going to open up this window, and here's your file right here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to double-click on that, and what that pulls up is all the different formats of the file. So depending on what your format is, what your machine takes, mine is a brother and it takes PES. Also down here, you'll find um, a couple other files. A lot of times there'll be instructions on here, things like that. So I'm gonna click on PES. And then here you will see all of the files. Now, you see this little icon here? I know it's kind of hard to see, but you see it opens up a little window here and right, like a little picture of it. That happens because I have Embrilliance and they have the part of Embrilliance where it shows you the thumb drive. So it kind of shows you a little picture of what the download is. So here is the whole alphabet from A to Z so I'm going to go ahead, um, I'm going to do, I'm going to pick a T from my last name. So I'm going to highlight the, that one. So 4x4 four four T. With my mouse, I'm going to right click. And I'm going to copy. Then we're going to go down here to my file folder. And I want to open up this one with the D drive. Because that's where my uh, thumb drive is. And on here, I'm just going to right click and I'm gonna do paste. Okay, so it pasted it onto here. Uh, what was that called again? <laughs> there it is right there, it's highlighted. So there it is, it highlighted it, put it here on the thumb drive, and I copied it onto there. Now, if I wanted any of the other alphabet letters, I would go ahead and do that. I'm going to go ahead and minimize this and I'm going to close this out. So there it is. It's saved on your computer depending on where um, you wanted it to go. So I'm going to go back here and I want to go and grab that other file that I purchased as well. 
the collar bib. I think that would be um, something I want to give a try and I want to put it on this thumb drive. So I'm going to do the same thing. Let's go ahead through the process again. Download files. So click on it. And here's just a little note from um, D or Die, however you want to say it, for interest in her designs. So if you have any questions, you can contact the shop there. But I'm good, so I'm going to click download. And it's going to open here. Here it is on my PC desktop again. I'm going to click save. It's going to open this up down here. See that's still working. Click it's uh, okay. It's done. Um, it's a zip file. I'm gonna click on it twice. It's gonna bring up all the files. And this one you could see there's two PDFs, so that's going to be the instructions. So it's gonna instruct uh, download them too. So I'm gonna click extract all. Click on it once. Um, it's gonna show you where the destination and where the file's gonna go. So again, that's for me, on, good for me on the desktop because I can go later and move it into a, uh, another file. Okay, so then it brings up this. So these are the files. So if you click on bib, double click on bib, here are the different caller bibs in all the different types file. Here's the different types. So I'm gonna click on, double click on PES. Uh, I'm gonna right click, right click, copy that. Down here, the file folder, disk. And I'm gonna right click, paste. So there it is right there. I'm gonna minimize this. And I'm gonna close this. And then I'm gonna go to collar. And then you can choose boy or girl. So let's double click on boy. And there are different types of collars. So there's boy collar, and then there's boy collar B. And I don't remember what the difference is. So I'm just gonna go ahead and um, I'm gonna look for my PES file. I'm gonna right click that. I'm gonna copy. I'm going to go down to my file folder here, open up the D drive, right click and paste. And there it is there. Okay, I'm going to minimize this. And I want to go back, not sure what the difference is in these. So when I bring it up on my um, screen, I can find out. Or you can go ahead and, you know, um, check the, P the PDF and see about that. But right now, I'm in this, so I'm showing you how to do it. I'm going to right-click, copy, down to my file folder, open this up, right-click, and paste. And there it is there. I'm going to minimize if I want to go back. So I'm done with this one. I'm going to close it. And um, could close this out. And um, let's minimize this. So here, here are all the different files I have on here. And let's see. So these are the <coughs> unzipped files where you see these little folders with the zipper. And uh, let me look. I do have it saved on the thumb drive. I'm mean, just looking to see here. It's kind of little. <laughs> hmm. I did put it over there because usually I'll take them here, move them over there. Um, okay, I'm looking reindeer. Forget what they were called. That's why you probably should name it what you'll remember. <laughs> um. This is the uh, thumbnailer here. That's the part of In Brilliance where it shows you the little icon. Let me take my glasses off because I can see better without them. Isn't that like funny that you can see with better without your glasses than them being on? And I'm not seeing it. But anyhow, they are on the um, they are on the thumb drive. These are some of the other ones: a gingerbread. I have a flamingo. Oh, is this it, maybe? 
embossed alphabet. There it is. So there's your file folder there. So that's what we downloaded and it put it onto my desktop. So, okay, just make sure it's there. So now before you go and just pull out your USB, you want to go down here where it shows the icon for the USB. So I have this little arrow I click on and there's my little USB. So you want to click on that, safely remove the hard drive, the, um, the USB, the device. You don't just want to pull it out. So you want to click on um, safely remove hardware and eject media. Where'd that go now? Let me do that again. Oh my gosh. Too early in the morning for me. Oh, I don't want meat meow. <laughs> so when I hover over it, that's when that opens up. And I want to eject the U disk. And then it will come up. Safe to remove hardware. And it says the USB mass storage device can now be safely removed from the computer. So then I could go ahead and take this out. And I don't have to worry because sometimes if you just pull it out without um, clicking on that, you risk the chance of um, the file not being on there or um, having some issues with the file. So, so that's it. Now what I would do next, I'm going to put this in here to protect it. What I would do now is I would take the, the thumb drive over to my um, embroidery machine and either insert it in the external, you know, I've showed a video where I have one, I have a, um, a plug-in that I put into my machine to protect from pulling all the USB drives in and out and in and out of the embroidery machine. I have an external device that I plug into the machine that has different ports on it. And then you just plug your, um, your little, um, thumb drive into that. Or if you don't have that, you just would go ahead and stick this right into the side of your machine where you put your thumb drives and um, pull up your file from there. So I hope that help ex helps explain things. Um, sometimes I have questions on, you know, once I get the design, what do I do? So that's the way that I do it. Um, I'm not sure how others do it, but you know, I'm kind of being I'm not so computer savvy me doing it that way is um, the way that works for me. So um, I hope that helps you out. Uh, again, I wanna thank you for joining me. Be sure to hit the subscribe button. Leave a comment down below if you have any questions. I'll try to answer them. If not, um, I'll research and find out the answer. And I wanna thank you for joining me. Be sure to uh, come on back real soon. I'm gonna be probably after I finish with this and go upload, I'm gonna go give this design a try. Who knows, maybe I'll throw the camera on and, and videotape that and um, upload that for you. So thanks again, and uh, we'll see you back here again real soon. Bye-bye for now.